We're headed 15 kilometers north of the Heron Island Research Station to a section of the Great Barrier Reef known for its clear visibility. Ideal conditions for my first survey behind the SV-2. So Christoph, the average dive, one probably covers about maybe 100 meters in, in terms of area. We're going to be traveling upwards of two kilometers That's correct. in a yeah. single dive. Yeah. You're going to be driving this scooter. Okay. Um, basically, as, as, as we talked about the other day, but there's eight speed mm -hmm. on that scooter. I mean, these scooters can go quite fast, but typically in a, in a transect, we go at about two kilometers an hour. Okay. And that is on about the third, the third gear. Christoph wants me to experience a full survey. That means seeing more coral today than I ever have on any other single dive. From the 500-year-old giant Parites bomby, four meters high and five meters wide, to seemingly endless beds of branching and plate corals, some two meters in size. everything into 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 relevance in, in terms of being able to travel and see ecosystems change in a way I mean it's all one single coral ecosystem but the different types of coral changed the different types of topography changed and it was uh, it really gave a sense a broader sense of what these systems look like as opposed to getting a, a snapshot of a you know hundred square meters Right. In a typical dive, being able to cover almost two kilometers gives an appreciation of just the scale and the magnitude of the diversity here. What's really exciting about this project is the fact that um, we want to be able to, um, to roll this out globally. It's not only about the, the, the Great Barrier Reef of Australia, it's about all the other reefs around the planet. Mm -hmm. Um, some of which are really, really uh, destroyed and we want to make sure that we cover these as well. 